And now these MAGA Republicans have to introduce another bill. It's going to eliminate the IRS, going to eliminate it completely. The only guys can go in and look at the complicated tax returns that people have and replace the IRS, which would be nice, no, no, no taxes, right? Except with a 30% national sales tax and everything from if you buy a home to a car to eggs. <laughs> That is a Joe Biden speaking about the proposed national flats, fair sales, whatever tax of the GOP. He does want to reassure you that as terrible as this sounds, he's going to make sure that it doesn't happen. And he's going to do a little bit of somewhat weird whispering during it. But here is his remarks. I thought I heard today Don, that the Speaker of the House says he's not sure he's for it now. <laughs> Bless me, Father, for he has sinned, I tell you. I mean. Do they think this is going to help with inflation and the process cutting taxes on the wealthiest? You got to be kidding me. What in God's name is this all about? Look, that's how they're starting this new term. Cutting taxes on billionaires, raising taxes on middle class families and making inflation worse for real. And let me be clear. If any of these bills somehow got passed the House and the Senate, I will veto them. He loves doing his little whisper. Uh, Brett, you seem to enjoy that. How does Joe Biden, Stammer and Joe have such facility in talking about this issue? Because it's so easy. In mm -hmm. economics one, when they're explaining what a regressive tax is, they say the sales tax. What do I mean? All right, so if you make a billion dollars and there's a 33% tax on you having that income, then and a 22% tax on people with lower incomes, that's not a regressive tax. That's like the richer people pay more and the poorer people pay less of a percentage. Sales tax is the opposite. And the easiest way to look at it is this. If I spend $10 on a pack of cigarettes, right? And there is a 30% sales tax on that. I'm paying a 30, it's 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 $3 for me. And if I make a little bit of money, if I make $3,000 a year, that's like whatever, 0.1% of my total income. If I make $3 billion a year, that's 0.0000001% of my income. So it is a smaller percentage of your income typically to have a sales tax. Mm -hmm. um, if you are a super rich person, then if you're a poor one, yeah, it is so <laughs> stupid. It's so easy, and it is only people. You know, it, it, the rich folks could buy. You know, it, it's easier for them to go out to a hundred dollar dinner than it is for a poor person to go out to a hundred dollar dinner because it's less of their income they're spending. So it's a regressive yeah. tax. It's a smaller percentage tax on them, unless yes. you're you're buying three hundred percent more stuff. It never Which, nets out. How many yachts can you get, I suppose? Yes. So look, that is about as regressive as a tax can be. But as we're responding to what they're proposing, let's also bear in mind that we have the current tax setup, which we have, which is already wildly regressive in a number of different ways. Um, you know, the, the payroll tax cap, uh, the fact that capital gains is taxed at a much lower rate um, uh, than actual income. There's already a variety of ways that the rich are getting away with tax murder. This is just them saying like, I guess we'll just go for everything. I guess we'll just what get rid of all of those taxes. Oh, And also at the same time, get rid of the IRS, which even if you did think that there was a legitimate reason to switch over to a flat sales tax, why do you have to get rid of the IRS at that point? They're not even satisfied in getting rid of their income taxes and all of that. And then only paying a very, a, a very, very small amount of tax on the direct things that they purchase. They also are preparing preemptively to cheat on that. And they don't want anyone auditing the cheating they'll do on the taxes they'll evade on their yachts and their mansions and their Maseratis and all of that to reference yesterday's show. Anyway, really fast the details. It is the Fair Tax Act. Representative Earl Buddy Carter, by the way, Washington Post, just because a person says that their nickname is Buddy doesn't mean that you have to write it. Oh, Why easy now. I got an Uncle Buddy. It means he's the third. Does it? Yeah, it was uh, Grover the first, Grover Jr., Sonny, and then Grover the third, no, Buddy. That, I thought you meant it's like a standard thing where it's the third. He, why like does he skip. get to be Buddy? Why? Okay, I'm John. It's Paolo like Skip. Iterola, if your dad, if your great grandfather was mm -hmm. 
John and your yeah. son is John, but you're not John, you're Skip because the name skipped a generation. Okay, well, this is not a tradition. John, if you want to talk about anyway. super awesome white Anglo Saxon Protestant shorthand names, I got a whole half of my this. family that knows about it. I'm going to add a 30% tax on all of your uh, non sequiturs. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it would do, it would get rid of income, payroll, estate. And gift taxes as well. Oh, weird that they fixed, they put the estate thing in there. That's a coincidence. Um, and then imposes national sales tax. I don't know why the Washington Post is calling it a 23% natural sales tax. Literally, everyone else is saying that it's 30%. I don't know. Anyway, it would also eliminate the IRS because, again, this is about getting literally everything at once, not just getting rid of income taxes, but also the estate, also getting rid of the IRS. Why not? But we're the radicals, we're extreme. Uh, Carter told Fox Business that people would quote much rather have a consumption tax when given a choice. Uh, don't tell Fox Business that, tell the people that because when they get polled, no, they don't want the flat tax. YouGov had a poll, they're against it. There are Republicans sometimes will like the plurality will support it, but doesn't even have majority support amongst Republicans. And even people like Grover Norquist, who like his entire life is trying to get rid of taxes. Doesn't think that this is a good idea. He calls it a free gift to Democrats. He also doesn't like, he says effectively it would be like setting up a basic income because there's this thing where they would give you a little bit of money every month for the essentials to defray some of the cost, which I'm actually shocked that they're doing that. That makes it slightly well, less it, regressive, but that doesn't make up for the fact that already when you're living under the poverty line, you get tax benefits for being that poor. This wouldn't even make up for the loss of those tax benefits. So the entire thing is a massive con, Here's super fast, super okay. fast, Brett. The easiest way to look at it is this, people with super low incomes don't pay income tax. They only pay sales tax. Right now, sales tax is like nine and a half percent to eight percent, depending on where you live. Yes. Um, if, they, if, they incre if they get rid of the income tax, which poor people don't pay anyway, and increase the sales pass, their tax, they're essentially tripling taxes on the poor. Yes, and they know that, exactly. Okay, but those poor are just getting away with murder under the current system with their inability to survive, let alone save. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.